Morning everyone. I hope you all had a really good week. Do you remember last week we met Joseph and his 11 brothers and we heard how Joseph was Jacob's favourite son and that Joseph got a multicoloured coat. Do you remember also that the brothers were jealous? Well, in today's story, we hear how jo the brothers' jealousy just goes a little bit too far and how they sell Joseph as a slave. And then they go back to his father, Jacob, to tell him that Joseph is dead. That's not a very good thing to do, is it? One, you're jealous, they're jealous. Two, they've lied. Well, let's listen to the story and see what happens. And then we can do a craft. I hope you all have a really good week. And I'll see you soon. Have a good week. Bye. find out what happens next in Joseph's life. Remember, he was one of 12 brothers and he was the one that his father loved the best. And he gave him a beautiful coat of many colours. Beautiful coat. And how did the brothers feel when he, when their dad spoiled their brother. I think they went as red or angry as this red in this coat. And they were green with envy. They were really angry and they were really thought, that's not fair. So off they went to work. Now their work was looking after sheep because they had lots of sheep to look after. And that got made them lots of money. So they went miles away to find some fresh pasta for their sheep. And Joseph had stayed at home. So their dad said, Joseph, could you go and check up on your brothers? See how they're getting on. Come back and tell me how they're getting on. So he put on his beautiful coat and he set off to find his brothers. They weren't very easy to find because it was a huge area. He looked and looked, he asked people, you see my brothers? And they told him where the land was, where the sheep were. So he looked for many days and he finally saw them in the distance. Now, the brothers saw him in the distance too. How do you think they were feeling? Did they think, oh, there's our lovely little Joseph? Mm -mm. They were thinking, He's made us angry. We feel jealous 
because their father loves him more. How dare he? So they were feeling very angry, which is not a good thing to feel, but that's what they felt. Sometimes it can be like that in families, can't it? We rub each other up the wrong way. We say something or do something and it makes us rub each other up the wrong way. It causes friction between us and that can make it really hot, really bad. We want to calm things down, don't we? Well, here comes Joseph over the horizon. His brothers see him. They're feeling mad. And they say, here he comes, that dreamer. Let's kill him. Let's say a wild animal ate him. So the other brothers said, yeah, good idea. Um, there's nobody around to see. Yeah, let's do that. One of the brothers, Reuben, th thought, no, 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 that's not a good idea. So he thought, I know, I can rescue him later. Let's not kill him, he said. Let's put him in that pit over there, that well. So let's throw him in the pit instead. So when, they, when he reached them, they grabbed his coat, ripped it up and threw him into an empty pit. said and they said they said to him let's see what comes of your dreams now so the brothers were outside at the top and they sat down to eat their meal and what did they see in the distance but some camels and on the camels were some traders they had a smart idea why don't we sell joseph then we'll get some money so, uh, while Reuben was out of the way, they pulled him up from the pit, from the well. Got my detective's magnifying glass. What happened after they got him out of the pit? Mm. They got him out of the pit. The Ishmaelite traders gave them some 20 silver coins. Can you think of somebody else who was sold for silver coins? Hmm. And off he went with the traders on a long, long way to Egypt. Oh, I found a map. Oh, Joseph's journey to Egypt. It was a very long way, imagine that. being sold as a slave all that way. Then they thought, hmm, what are we going to tell Dad? Joseph's gone. Hmm, they thought, I know. We will pretend that a wild animal killed him. So they got the blood of an animal and they squirted it, covered the, his precious coat with blood and they took it back to the father and they said, Dad, look, we found this coat. Whose coat is this? And of course, the father knew that was the special coat he'd given Joseph. And so he thought, oh no, Joseph's dead. And he was so sad, he cried for days and days and days. And so Joseph, he was in a terrible position, wasn't he? He'd been put in a well, down a pit, and sold in slavery. Do you know what? He still trusted God. Because God had a plan. You'll find more about that next time. You might like to know, there are two DVDs about Joseph. And one of them is called Joseph and his Technicolor Dream Guide, and it's one of my favorites. When you come into group when I'm there, we might sing one of the, or two of the songs. Here's a part of the musical where Joseph is, it gets into really big trouble. So this is, how, this is the words. Next day, far from home, the brothers planned a repulsive crime. Let us grab him now. Do him in while we've got the time. 
This they did and made the most of it, tore his coat and threw him in a pit. Let us leave him here, all alone, he's bound to die. Then some Ishmaelites, a hairy crew, came riding by. In a flash, the brothers changed their plan. We need cash, let's sell him if we can. Poor, poor Joseph, what you gonna do? Things look bad for you, what you gonna do? Poor, poor Joseph, what you gonna do? Things look bad for you, hey, what you gonna do? Could you use a slave, you hairy bunch of Ishmaelites, young, strong, and well-behaved, going cheap, and he reads and writes. In a trice, the dirty deal was done, silver coins for Jacob's favorite son. Then the Ishmaelites galloped off with a slave in tow, off to Egypt, where Joseph was not keen to go. It wouldn't be a picnic. He could tell he didn't speak Egyptian very well. Joseph tore his brother's precious multicoloured coat. Having ripped it up, they necked, attacked a passing goat. Soon the wretched creature was no more. They dipped his coat in blood and guts and gore. Oh, now brothers, how low can you stoop? You make a sordid group. How low can you stoop? Poor, poor Joseph, sold to be a slave. Situation's grave, hey? Sold to be a slave. What will happen to him? Come back next time. Hi, good morning, Mary. Hi, Dean. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good, good. We're uh, in a different location today. Yes. Than normal. <laughs> We're inside for once. And I'm going to take my instructions from you as I get everything wrong that I try and say for the children's stuff. Um, so, what are we doing this morning? Right, we are going to do Joseph's Technicolor Dreamcoat, which the children would have heard about last week. And also this week's story, they hear that the brothers put it, rip it up and... Uh, pretend it's he's been killed. Okay, so shall we have a look and see yeah, what the outcome is going to look like? Yeah. So that is what we are going to be looking at making today. And Mary's going to take you through that now, I hope. Right, okay. So what we need is, well, I'm going to use tissue paper, uh, but if you don't have tissue paper, you can use uh, colouring pens, you can use coloured paper, and you just, uh, and you need to have an outline of the coat. So either you can print that off the computer, which I did, or you can draw. It's very, very simple. And then you just need to start doing different colours of tissue paper or crayons, anything you want, or felt tips. And you just, uh, so it's multicoloured, so. And you're using Pritt stick, but any, yeah, kind, of any, glue, any kind, kind of glue, glue will do, glue. I guess. Yes, it will. And if you haven't got a uh, tissue paper, coloured card maybe? Yeah, you can use coloured card. Or just colour in with pencils? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, coloured pencils, not yeah. grey ones. <laughs> Otherwise it wouldn't be very multicoloured, would it? No, it wouldn't. No, it would not. It's much nicer doing it inside. It's a lot warmer. <laughs> and more comfortable. Well, I'm being down. your husband, I'm not this kind of cruel as Glyn is, am I? I'm no, hoping you do it no, outside. Glyn's quite cool. <laughs> I'm you do it outside. I think it's... Finds it amusing. Ooh. Ooh. And so you just need to... Colour it all up like this, with different colours. Like so. I'm going to quickly brush a bit more so that we can... And of course, some of you, if you're doing it on a kitchen table or a lounge table, might want to put a piece of paper underneath so you don't get yeah, anything on the table. Yeah, don't, yeah, that's, that's don't, don't, don't spoil mum and dad's uh, fine, uh, fine lounge furniture. I don't want to get into trouble for that. No. It's looking good. It doesn't matter if you overlay it because I think it probably was overlaid anyway. And then just got a little bit more just to finish off up here. And then I'm going to colour in. On this one, it's sort of got a neckline and a 
thumped bit there. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to get a yellow crayon. Oh, no, I've got a golden crayon there. A <laughs> cold crayon. And then just colour it all in. Because I think it would probably would have had some gold on it. And this coat was given to Joseph by his father, which made the brothers very jealous, if you remember from last week's story. And we hear this week what happened to Joseph. And there again, I'm sure you can I'll fill it all in, make sure it's all covered up. I'm just going to finish it like that, though, because I'm a bit short of time. There you go. And I guess if you want, you can cut that out. Yeah, you can cut it out, stick it up, and there you go. Excellent. That's good. Right. Thank you, Dean. And uh, guys, we'll see you next week. Have a good week. Bye. Bye. We've been given good news. God's power for salvation. For everybody who believes. Every people, every nation. Yeah, we've been given good news News like there has never been So, we're not ashamed of the Gospel Romans 1, 16 We've been given good news God's power for salvation For everybody who believes Every people, every nation Yeah, we've been given good news like there has never been So we're not ashamed of the gospel Romans 1, 16 We've been given good news God's power for salvation For everybody who believes Every people, every nation Yeah, we've been given good news News like there has never been so, we're not ashamed of the gospel, Romans 1, 16.